All right, guys, welcome back to the Off Grid Tiny House. Good morning, 9.30. It is 26.6 Celsius outside with uh, 32 or 39 percent humidity. It is 18 points uh, centigrade inside uh, with high humidity, 76 percent. But it's nice in here. I got the door open, I got the windows open. Um, let me just zoom back here a bit, show you what's going on. So, I have uh, my template here, and I got my pen, and I'm just going to mark out my thermal pan to one foot. That's been working perfect for me underneath the trailer. I'm going to show you what the progress I got done um, shortly here. I'm, I went through an entire box, so I'm into the second box now. And I have some pieces left over that I won't be scrapping. These will be for work, and also... There's some spots under there I can use these together. Um, I might even uh, tape some of these uh, pieces together with some aluminum tape on both sides to rejoin them and then put them under there. But I'll show you that later. Also decided underneath, instead of spray foam around the seams, since this stuff is working so good and nice and tight and holding everything up, nothing fell down. It's been a couple days. So I'm just going to use silicone, it's a lot cheaper, but I'm going to get a good quality silicone. Um, I'm going to need uh, four or five tubes of this stuff anyway. And uh, that will cover the seams up and lock everything into place. Um, I have three uh, about here, uh, underneath, I'll show you later, but there's um, a, three spots I'm, I, I avoided, because one's really small. One was actually, the I-beam was in some sort of an accident because it was pulled forward. But this trailer's been safety and everything already, so I don't think it was just, it wasn't a big deal. Um, and then there's another little spot there. But most of my work now is down uh, about just in front of the fireplace, back. That's where the wheels are, all the way back to the back. So... We're going to see how that works out because that's going to be a lot of tight quarters and stuff like that. But for now, guys, I'm going to be uh, in here going to town on cutting. So uh, I'll get back to you and show you a little update underneath the tiny house. All right. See that? All right, guys, back here under the trailer. I have the thermal pan up. And as you can see, I have the rocks all in. Um, I made it so... Um, there was a gap in the middle because because it's not quite as uh, short as that this is a little mess here because of the brake lines and stuff but uh, eventually I got some silicone I'm gonna just silicone all the way along here like that that'll hold everything in place it had nothing's moved it's solid it's everything's tied in nicely I'm gonna fill that in with my strips that I cut off and uh, I got quite I'm, I'm a little over halfway but now I have the hardest part. This was fun, getting it in underneath these uh, channels. And then I made it up to here where I had to basically just stuff insulation in because there's no way, you can barely get your arm in there. So I gotta go all under the wheel wells here, all the way back, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be, uh, pretty funky um, really gonna be tight it's gonna be fun I just I'm finishing up today because uh, I got one bag in and uh, I got basically up to there and the rest of the trailer is done except for a couple in the front which are a different size it looks like it's gonna rain nasty out so Oh, I got crap on the lens or something. So, uh, yeah, that's it. little update, guys. So I've been working away. It's nice and cooler today, but uh, it's about to rain, so I'm packing it in. I'll bring you inside and show you hey, the guys. insulation I'm using. All right, we're back inside. I filled the empty thermal pan box up with some of the scrap rock saw pieces. And then here is my newer one that's about not even halfway done 
that should finish off the trailer I would think and then maybe I can return that box or we'll keep it for work either way um, here's the extra strips and then I have my template over here it is now 1220 um, it's still nice and comfortable in here even though the humidity is high um, so the rock saw I'm using is uh, R14, 16 inch centers, and uh, how I've been doing it is when it's when it's unpackaged, I take a level and just put it the width of the level that's about inch or two inches wide. I lay the level on there and I just use a knife and follow the level all the way down. And I do usually two at a time, makes it faster, and it works perfect. Um, so there's 12 bats in here. It's uh, 47 inch length, width 15 and a quarter, thickness three and a half inches, which is perfect for under the trailer in that space. It's actually really good. So everything's working really smoothly. Uh, like I say, uh, the rain is coming, so I'm packing it in for today. I'm not in a real panic. I still got a few months to go before the cold weather hits. But it's nice to have some of this done. Um, also picked up the silicone. 35 year interior exterior warranty. Weather shield. So this is the stuff I'm going to use under there. It's white. I didn't find any clear, which is weird. But hey, whatever, 35 years, I'm going to trust it. I'll probably need an, another package of this due to all the seams and stuff under there. Because I'm going to use a lot to seal that up. But uh, yeah, it's working out pretty good. Um, so that's what I'm busy doing. Um, I haven't had a chance to mess with the TV over here too much. That's kind of not a high priority. But kind of is because if I can get better channels with this thing up against the wall over here and not so I'm not looking at it on the ceiling bonus it's kind of ugly hanging up there guys and thank you guys would agree um but uh yeah that's all that's really been going on the trailer so just working on that R14 um works really good and uh I'm out of here for today thanks